Good, Good Murmuration Morning! morning. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Blake. Here we are, and we're planting our pea seeds. And and it's there's two exciting things. Exciting thing one is that right next to me here, you probably can't see it, but I have the very very top of an asparagus peeking out. Cool. Tomorrow I'll have asparagus for breakfast. And then we've got these pea seeds, right, that have sprouted. But wait till you hear this. Remember we planted this. Um, Impatience first. Yeah, Check I wasn't patient. We weren't patient enough. They we got guns. some. Yeah, they just take a real long time. And you can see because they have the little seed like right on the top, so we'll save them to plant them somewhere else. We'll show you this as it grows. As it grows, and we'll even eat peas. And then behind us, other things will be growing. This is kind of our first, first moment first in moment. the garden. So we're right. glad you joined us in the garden. Right. Let's move to the shade. See you in a minute. Good morning, Jeannie. Good morning, Blake. We're out in the garden again. Yes, we are. And it's finally And we've planted warm. our peas. We've, we've planted just, our peas. You've just seen us plant yeah, our peas. We that did was plant fun. our peas. Finally plant our peas. And the asparagus is coming up. Mm -hmm. And from where I'm sitting, there's a tree that's blossoming. It is going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. I've worked, uh, I've worked actually already several hours this morning on this garden. And I'm... I so you've done some trimming, which I got some trimming done, not at a garden, but at a, um, you know, a place, beauty parlor. A beauty parlor. A beauty she parlor. Doesn't <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like it. They call it up. A but uh, shout out to Susie at 927-3184, local. Uh, you and hair, you can have you some beautiful hair like, hair like me. Then, then you Love would, you, Susie. You go to see Susie. I have a garden of hair. You do. I got a weed patch. <laughs> but I did. I, I want to say, just in case anyone's very concerned, maybe in this lighting you can't tell, but um, as I was um, pulling out ground cover today, because my, my garden is full of ivy and vinca and um, trumpet vine. So it's like, you know, it's beautiful, and I'm sure the person that put it in, who was the gardener before me, had a vision of what it was going to be like, but it takes over, and it's so much work. And I was pulling, 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 and um, and I, I bent down, and there was a little twig of a little oak tree, and I, like, went, doink, right in my eye. You went what? I, doink. 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 Right in my eye. So, Ouch. I know. Be it? careful. You'll poke your I eye. You'll poke your eye out. If you garden, you you can poke your eye out. Yeah. So, so anyway. So I just thought I'd and mention it. And you thought it. you had skewered your eyeball I did. onto the... I thought it was... I, I, I thought just the way it hit, <laughs> I was like, oh, right? And I was scared to look just in case my eyeball was going to be like an Ew. olive <laughs> on, a, like on a stick in someone's martini. <laughs> But it wasn't. Thank I, goodness. I was overreacting. It's just red right there. there. It is. It's just yeah. Red right there. I was overreacting. But yet, yeah, this is the time of year when you really have to get on top of the gardening and get it done now so that you can enjoy the summer. Because if you don't do your job now, then it, you never catch up all summer. That's no good. No, that isn't, no, no, that isn't that's good. that's no good. We like gardens. So, Can't what are we going to talk about this morning, Blake? Well, I guess it's sort of like... Um, uh, it's sort of like gardening. You know, you dig down and you uh, see different... What? Uh, What's sort of like gardening? Like? Uh, the, the topic, which I love. I've fallen in love with this topic, mm -hmm. which is midrash. Right. Which and, is a way of encountering the word. Which yeah. is a way of encountering the An Bible. An ancient uh, Jewish tradition. Yeah. And, and you, dig, a, you dig into the Bible, don't you? And you dig into the garden. And you discover different layers, and we often mm -hmm. stay on the top layer. That's kind of one way the the local rabbi came mm -hmm. and spoke to our church. And when he started talking about midrash, I went, "Why have I not heard about mm -hmm. this before?" Because the top layer of the Bible would be what? The top layer is simply the black and white words mm -hmm. printed on paper, saying, "Do this, don't the do this. tree grew." Okay. And that's the first layer. You right. you learn, you see those words on mm -hmm. the page and you go oh that's the story okay so midrash is looking one way is midrash is looking at the spaces between 
Ooh, the, the words. spaces between the letters and the words. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. That's cool. uh, looking at, um, because not all the words in the Bible are strictly talking about literal real things like right. dancing trees or mm-hmm. or some yeah, of it's or, poetry yeah yeah and so Sh- it's digging yeah, mountains deeper shouting for joy yeah or shouting mountains hands. yeah that doesn't really happen yeah tree i love that one trees the clapping, trees their, clapping hands. their hands yeah which there's a place over by my house our tree has a face uh, on it but there's this cool place over uh-huh. by my house mm-hmm. uh and the trees look dead yeah. And I went, what is that? And it almost looks like those trees, you know, on uh, Wizard of Oz, <gasps> that yeah. apple yeah, tree. Yeah, that yeah. used to freak me out. <laughs> and I thought all these trees were dead. Uh-huh. Well, they come come to be their apple trees. Oh, the gnarly ones. Yeah, the yeah, real gnarly yeah. ones. Yeah, they're And lovely. so it brings alive that uh, passage, the, the trees clap their mm-hmm. hands. These trees literally look like they have hands they to do. grab and they clap do. yeah orchards um, orchards are quite gnarly looking they're lovely. they are it was the trees look very char- they've, they've got real character so the midrash is looking at uh using your imagination sometimes which we're nice. really not ever taught to do that not in the or church or given permission yeah, to not do in that the church it feels like we're not um but they've been doing it for for generations mm-hmm. in the so Jewish how would community. you encourage how would you encourage people to do that or is there midrash they should read or do they make their own midrash well um there are do you know what midrash actually means actually like what does that mean in hebrew oh he told me and i can't remember right now Uh, we should have looked that up yeah where's my ipad so we're gonna have that um um i know what it is Mm -hmm. and i think the word uh reflects what it is and uh, you okay. should have asked me this question before we started know, the filming. I know, but see, normally, <laughs> normally we have these questions and we just check on the iPad right there. And I would have gone, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it does allow, one of the favorite stories was the very first letter in the Bible uh-huh. is uh, the B. Beta? Mm-hmm, it's the B. And so there's a whole midrash, which is a... Uh, a, a thinking a rabbi is, is doing thinking and writing and he thinks about this B and B the, is the A in the, Bible. the A Berla. yeah the A is wondering why was the B yeah, when A's the first. first letter oh, so the B of and the, the story a. Okay, so the, so the, the midrash the kind of oh it's seek oh our seek you seek midrash is seek nice okay. so the A and the B in this particular midrash uh-huh. the rabbi seeking uh, uh, a story about how Why the B A and the B. The so the letter. A and the B have a conversation. That's hilarious. So there's humor in it too. There's humor, there's humor imagination. So, so what you're saying is that uh, you know of you know of a of a of a piece of midrash of, of, uh-huh. of a writing that's done where a rabbi was looking at the Bible and yeah. saw that the first letter in the Bible was B and thought, wow, A must be sort of wow. jealous yeah. that B got to be the first letter when A is the first letter of the alphabet, and then wrote a piece about A and B And, and really, the theology comes in with this conversation exactly. between the A it. and the B, oh, I love and it. then when you get to the Ten Commandments, guess mm-hmm. who's first? I think this B? is the truth. A. Oh, a a gets a chance oh, to be first. Oh, that's but it's the conversation that happens. Yeah in this thinking that you mm-hmm. go oh there's and there's that, some theology that really, in that really really then nails home the idea of living word exactly that that scripture some traditions you know they believe that scripture is inerrant and that you know god's hand sort of guided the hand of the writer which um i respect people that are brought up that way however i wasn't so i was brought up to um to believe that um, that God was very much in the writing mm-hmm. of the Bible mm-hmm. and that the Bible is holy, but that it was written in a different time and a different place and a different audience, yet it's still speaking to us. Yeah, and I... And, 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 and there's wisdom in it, not as a rule book so much, but as a kind of a, right. of, of a living guide. And in the same way, then, Midrash can also bring in other stuff, can bring in pop music, can bring in art, brings us in where we are now and the questions that we bring to the text. So I'm wondering now uh, how Midrash 
is experienced in Christian communities. And if, you know, I haven't done my homework, mm-hmm. so I'm doing it in front of uh-huh. you all on camera, that I think we can do that and well, be faithful you know, to what of, the there's a lot of pop scripture songs. is. There's a lot of pop songs that have scriptural um, scriptural uh, words and phrases in it. I mean, there's one right now where it's, um, this is my kingdom come. Yeah. You know, and, and so that, they didn't just make that up, and it happens to also be something that's pretty famous yeah. in, 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 in our Christian life. But so, so that, to me, is partly Midrash, too. When we hear it, it makes us think of other things that are exactly. biblical. Exactly, so, exactly. So today, so. so today we should encourage uh, people in their... Uh, in their devotion or in their thinking mm-hmm. to maybe point it at, at at scripture and then take it another place ask a question that's not being asked ask a question that's not being asked in the story is, and nothing is too um silly or uh-huh. too um yeah this is this is the art of midrash of seeking further knowledge with what we have in our daily life and and in the text and we seriously would love to see your midrash. Yeah, do that it. Sounds, I mean, <laughs> <sounds> um, <laughs> risky. <laughs> no. Not your midrash. Your midrash. Midrash. Your mid, it's not, midrash. I well, say yeah, midrash. I say midrash. midrash. You say mid. I you say midrash. say midrash. I say midrash. 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 <laughs> it's all in the. It's all in the pronunciation of it. The emphasis. Yeah, it's, of the syllable or whatever. So. Anyhow, we'd love to see it. So send it in um, to, uh, you could send it to murmurationministry at gmail.com or you can Facebook it to us. Um, hey, your midrash can be Instagram. So, so here's an idea for midrash. Uh, uh-huh. When we were studying the uh, storm, they're on the disciples and Jesus are on the boat in the storm. And one woman... Uh, when we were studying that mm-hmm. uh, scripture one time, focused in on the fact that Jesus was laying on a cushion. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden we had this discussion about who the, brought cushion. the cushion. Who brought the cushion? Yeah. Where did it come from? Was what it was it like? Was it water? Was it a water you know, you cushion? ask these yeah. questions yeah. and you end up talking about some <laughs> other things that you've not ever experienced in that Imagine story. Imagine Jesus' head on a cushion. Yeah. Yeah, That's it was fabulous. pretty cool. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Right, so we'd love to see your midrash, and like I said, send it in. Um, Murmuration Ministry at, um, at gmail.com or Facebook or Instagram with those pictures, and we love your tweets. So, have a great Monday. This is the start of Holy Week. It is. We started in the garden, and we uh, hope you have a oh, wonderful lots day. Lots of good things start in the garden. Today. Yeah, yeah. Right. Have a fabulous one. Know that you're loved. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.